Looking for more expert investing advice? You should check out the experts and analysts page on smallcappower.com. And while you're there, be sure to check the experts and analysts top 20 picks. It's under the premium research tab. Happy investing from your friends at Small Cap Power. The Small Cap Power Expert Interview. Bob McWhorter has more than 30 years in the securities industry and is a top-ranked money manager in Canada. He uses a 12-factor stock selection methodology that has both growth and value characteristics, including return on equity, earnings surprise, earnings estimate revision, price to book, and price to earnings ratio. We asked Bob back to the studio for an update on the four stock picks he shared with viewers during his last visit in 2013. We're very pleased with the performance of the four picks since December the 19th. On average, they were up 38% since December 19th through to April 22nd. And from the purchase price on December the 19th through to the actual peak prices um, that occurred between the period, uh, the stocks were up 71%. Uh, it's also important to note that we owned all four of the stocks um, from December 19th onwards. Ultra Energy is up about 20% during the period. We still have positions, although we've reduced our position in the stock because it's moved up. This is the waste to energy firm. Uh, during the period, they announced a new contract uh, with a Chinese partner for an incinerator enhancement product and also a 650 ton per day waste to energy project with Barbados as well. Vigilon is the company that uh, basically has high definition uh, cameras used for surveillance. They reported their earnings on March the 4th. Uh, sales were up a crisp 56% year over year. Um, earnings were up 105%, uh, but there was no earnings surprise uh, that went with it, which then uh, begs the question as to when to sell or reduce a stock. So in spite of a Vigilon's strong results, uh, the actual stock uh, rose a little bit after they reported, then drifted back. Um, and in part because they have a 48 PE on a trailing basis. Uh, they also end up having uh, a PE multiple of 35 times 2014 estimates. But you shouldn't look at the PE by itself. You need to look at what are you paying versus what are you getting. In this case, with a 35 PE, you've also got 35% earnings growth. That gives you a PE to growth rate of just under one times, which most people view as attractive. The big question is, since earnings estimates have been shaved by 5% over the last 90 days, it becomes one of, will the earnings estimates growth of 64% for 2015 hold true? Uh, and that's really the kind of main question. So technically the stock had uh, declined and you should always have a stop loss of about 10% for a company. So if it does decline by 10%, you should look at the stock seriously and figure out whether there's something changed with the stock or whether the market backdrop has changed. So in this case, uh, shares of uh, Vigilon had declined and we've uh, sold the position at the moment. There's a fair number of technical analysis uh, kind of sell signals on the stock. We think it's a great uh, company, but we think we can buy it back closer to $21 to $22. So shares of Burkhan Nutriscience were up 93% since December 19th because Archer Daniels Midland has announced that they are intention to end up expanding the commercial production of the Clarisoy product. This is a product that uses um, uh, soy, extracts the protein from it, and produces a clear, odorless, colorless, tasteless protein that could be added to products like Gatorade, um, so that uh, ADM has announced again they're going to go ahead with that. We believe this announcement also further increases the likelihood of a new partner for doing the same thing but extracting protein from peas, uh, which also should provide um, a good opportunity for Burkhan. Flight Aerospace, we sold the stock at 60 cents, which was up 38% from the December 19th price. At that point, it was trading at a, an estimated 15 times enterprise value to EBITDA based on 2015 estimates. Uh, subsequently, the stock moved up a further 30% uh, because of the um, Air Malaysia crash or disappearance of flight MH370. Uh, so uh, in part, valuation appeared to be rich uh, in comparison to other opportunities, we felt it was time to sell the stock and look at something that was less expensive. During our last interview, you said you thought Canadian equity markets would struggle in 2014 compared to those in the U.S. Do you still believe this? 
Well, since December the 19th, the S&P has underperformed the TSX by about just under 5%, in part because of the strong performance of energy stocks um, on the TSX. Uh, that's due because oil's been above $100 for a fair while, and also the decline in the Canadian dollar has also translated into more earnings for Canadian-based companies. We think that the TSX will likely be entering a period of outperformance versus the U.S. market um, as a result of uh, energy stock performance, and we have an energy stock included in one of our new picks. Some U.S. biotech and tech stocks have shown signs of weakness lately. Do you think this could be the start of a broader market correction south of the border? Uh, we don't think so. If you look at uh, the advanced decline line in um, a lot of the U.S. indices, you'll see in spite of the uh, overall indexes struggling, the advanced decline lines are moving out to new highs. We think that signifies pretty good breadth in the market, um, and as a result, we expect that the market will move higher, um, and particularly in stocks that have strong fundamentals uh, with good growth, we think they will continue to do well. There's been a lot of talk about marijuana stocks recently, so what's your take? Is this a bubble in the making or should investors take these stocks seriously? Well, the kind of market at the moment is about 37,000 Canadians have medical marijuana licenses. That's expected to grow by about a factor of 12 over the next 10 years. However, um, there are over 600 applicants for new uh, applications to be able to grow and produce uh, medical marijuana. Um, unfortunately, like the, in contrast to the beer industry, where there's a minimum selling price for beer, there is no minimum selling price for marijuana. So we're expecting that there will be a huge price war. In addition, almost like the mid-1980s, where there are over 100 different snowmobile manufacturers, and there are currently three of them left in the business, we think it will be tough sledding for a lot of these companies to make money over time. Do you have any new stock ideas that you can share with our audience? Sure, we've got three picks. The first one in an alphabetical order is Cortex Business Solutions. This is a small cap company, $21 million, and they provide an electronic network that basically um, is used for business invoicing. So it reduces costs and the day's sales outstanding, which is a formal way of saying how long does it take a company to get paid. So it's cheaper and faster. They reported record results on uh, March the 27th. Their Q2, uh, their sales were up over 32% year over year, and the recurring revenue was up 39% year over year. On a quarter over quarter basis, the sales were up 11%, which is an increase of over 52% on an annualized basis. The company uh, recently did a financing of $10 million, which we participated in. We think that'll be enough uh, to carry them through until their cash flow break even in the second quarter of 2015. And Husky and Finning are two customers who are basically having all their suppliers go on the Cortex network to take advantage of the savings that are offered by Cortex's solution. We own the stock personally. Okay, Delphi Energy. Delphi Energy, symbol DEE, -E, is a Calgary-based company that explores for oil and gas. So you're going to ask yourself, why is McWhorter um, in recommending an oil and gas stock? Well, the key is what they call slick water fracking. So they take five times the water and two times the amount of sand compared to conventional fracking, put it down the same sized hole, have much bigger fracturing if you wish, that leads to, leads to three times the production out of the wells, and it also uh, means that the wells themselves produce over reliably over a much longer time period. Delphi's management believes that they can grow uh, cash flow at a 36% compound rate over the next five years as they drill out 70 different properties. So when you look at the kind of price to our enterprise value to EBITDA at a seven times premium for 2014, with the opportunity of 36% compounded cash flow growth over the next five years, we think that Delphi um, is very attractive. Uh, the stock at roughly $3.23, near term target is $4. That implies about a 24% upside. And again, we think this is one that you can buy, throw in a box and wake up happy three years from now. Still mining stuff stop losses in case something goes wrong, but we think there's still long, good long-term potential for the stock. Questor Technologies, the symbol is QST, um, is um, a market cap of $73 million. They have incinerators that are used for the flaring of natural gas. When, typically when you see natural gas being flared in an oil and gas field, it doesn't get hot enough to be able to uh, burn off benzene, which is a known cancer-causing agent, or hydrogen sulfide, which is the classic rotten egg smell that you have from some wells um, in Western Canada. The advantage of their system is it does not need extra natural gas to be able to get the natural gas hot enough to burn off the nasty stuff. So as a result, um, it's a much less expensive process, very reliable, and the payback 
on their system is less than a year compared to the competitor's product. Jennings, Claris, and Cormark cover Questor, and Cormark is of the view that their um, sales will go uh, and double in 2014 compared to last year and double again in 2015. Questor appears cheap at about a 5.2 times 2015 uh, times enterprise value to EBITDA basis. CapitalCube.com ranks at 97 out of 100 on a fundamental basis. We believe the stock is very attractive. We own a significant six-figure position personally as well. Thank you for taking the time for the interview, Bob. Looking for more expert investing advice? You should check out the experts and analysts page on smallcappower.com. And while you're there, be sure to check the experts and analysts top 20 picks. It's under the premium research tab. Happy investing from your friends at Small Cap Power.